Okay, now my workspace is running so we can focus on building the React application. Again, everything in React is a component and components return exactly one DOM element. Uh, just like in HTML, everything has to have one parent DOM element. They can't have two parent DOM elements. So if I wanna return a pair of H1s, this will not work. I'm gonna get the nasty error that JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. So if I wanna return multiple, I just have to wrap them in a div, like so. Now it will work again, and I'll have two H1s. Of course, I don't need to do that. So in this case, I'll go back and revert. Another thing is you can import dynamic information very easily. I could create a const of my name, and my name is Will, and then anything in curly braces in the JSX portion of your file, that's very important, it won't work outside of there, but anything in curly braces will just execute as normal JavaScript. So in this case, it's going to evaluate name, which is the value of will. There you go, it's will. I could also do three plus two, it's five. And then I could also do a self-executing anonymous function and that returns the value of three. Of course, that's a terrible idea. I don't know why you'd ever wanna do that, but you can see it executes the function, returns the value of three, and then sets the value of three in there. Um, if you do need logic, this is not the proper place to do it. Generally, if you need basic logic, you can do it in the render method. So say var val equals, I could do some sort of self-executing anonymous function here. Say maybe get val. Something like that is totally fine, and then I could print val. Or if you have a little bit more logic and you wanna keep your render method clean, which is always a good idea, you could do get val. You could create a method on your class. And then I could do this dot get val. And then whatever get val returns will be printed out into the template. So I'm gonna return will again. And yippee, it's will again. Um, you can also pass that a value. I could pass that a value. Now I can return will plus val, and you get the point. It basically is class methods and you can invoke them. Last but not least, I can actually use a constructor method. Since it is a JavaScript class, I can do a constructor method. The only thing you have to do is you must call super as the first line of a React component constructor. So we call super on the first line, and then we could do this dot name equals will. And then we can simply just access this dot name. It's Will. So there you go. That's your basic component introduction. In the next video, we're going to look about how to take multiple components and create a full app layout from React components.